Hi, this is Dave Weber, and in this episode, we're going to talk about adapting method number three, M42 screw mount lenses. M42 screw mount lenses were developed initially in the 1940s, and they're a very, very popular, probably the most popular type of adapted lens that, that there is. I did a recent search on eBay and found over 6,000 M42 mount lenses for sale on eBay. Um, M42 mount lenses, they're usually prime lenses. They're uh, almost always manual focus. And all of the lenses you see on the table here, all 21 of these M42 mount lenses cost me less than $100. The only M42 mount lens that I spent more than $100 on was this large Pentax Takumar 500mm f4.5 lens, which I spent a whopping $250 on um, last year. So M42 mount lenses, they're, they're everywhere. They're inexpensive and they're easy to adapt. They're called M42 mount lenses because they all have a, uh, a screw thread on the end of them, on the rear end of screw thread, that is exactly 42 millimeters in diameter. Um, M42 mount lenses have a flange distance of 45.46 millimeters. So if you're going to put them on a camera with a flange distance of less than 45.46 millimeters, you'll have infinity focus. It'll work great. But if you put them on like a Nikon camera, which has a flange distance of 46.5, you're not going to have infinity focus. So uh, try to use your M42 mount lenses on cameras and camera systems that have a flange distance of less than 45.46 millimeters. Now the adapters um, are for the most part fairly inexpensive. Uh, you can spend uh, some money and buy really expensive ones uh, or you can get some cheap ones for five to ten US dollars. Uh, I guess the M42 mount adapters that I prefer are the ones that are kind of in the middle because I find the cheap ones uh, can sometimes be a little bit too loose or a little bit too light. So uh, spend a little bit more, get a mid-priced adapter, but uh, there's really no need uh, to get a really expensive adapter. Uh, and, and these uh, M42 mount uh, adapters I have in my hands, they're quite, quite slender and they're used on DSLR cameras. And if you want to put a M42 mount lens on a mirrorless camera, uh, you're going to need a M42 mount adapter that's uh, a little bit thicker because of course your mirrorless uh, camera has a shorter uh, flange distance. So these are a couple of, uh, of M42 to Fuji X uh, mirrorless uh, uh, adapters. And as you can see, they are quite a bit thicker than your DSLR M42 uh, adapters. Uh, how do you use them? Well, they're, they're pretty easy to use. You, you take your camera and your adapter, and you take the adapter, and you simply attach the bayonet to your camera, and it clicks in place. There's a locking lever. And then you take your M42 screw mount lens, and you simply screw it right onto the adapter. And that's all there is to attaching an M42 mount adapter to your camera. The M42 mount adapter uh, actually does not have uh, a electrical connection on it. Uh, they're, they're just plain with no electrical connection on it. So you won't have autofocus and you also won't have aperture control with your camera. Uh, but every M42 mount lens that I've ever purchased has an aperture ring on it. So, so it's okay if, if you don't have that electrical connection uh, to your camera. 
M42 mount adapters are made for a wide variety of modern cameras. And I just made a listing here of some of the modern cameras that you can put uh, M42 mount lenses on. Uh, Nikon F mount cameras, Nikon Z, Sony A and Sony E, Canon EF, Fuji X and Fuji G, Pentax K and Pentax Q, Leica M, the L Alliance cameras, and of course you can buy adapters to put M42 mount lenses on micro four thirds cameras. So these M42 mount lenses will, will uh, work with an adapter on most modern cameras that, that uh, you're going to want to use. I've tested hundreds of M42 mount lenses over the years, and the 21 that you see on the table here, these are my favorites. And I've made a handout for you. Uh, it's in the resource sections that you can download and print out if you like, uh, but it's called Dave Weber's Favorite M42 Mount Lenses. And I'd like to call your attention to uh, a couple of my favorites. Uh, there's a fellow I know down in Houston called Tim Harris, and he's got this extensive collection of M42 mount 55 millimeter-ish uh, lenses. And he was telling me uh, earlier this year that his favorite uh, M42 mount lens in around 50 millimeter focal length is this one, the Auto Mamiya. M-A-M-I-Y-A, Secor, S-E-K-O-R, 55 millimeter F1.4 lens. This particular lens uh, is quite inexpensive. In fact, this one, which is like mint, I purchased on eBay for just $42, and I've been using it the last few months, and you know what? It's become one of my favorite M42 mount lenses. I wanted to call your attention to this Best Buy right here. Another one of my favorite M42 mount lenses, which is very inexpensive, $50 to $100, it's called a Helios, H-E-L-I-O-S, Helios uh, 44 lens, and they are 58 millimeters and F2. Uh, they come in various uh, versions. There's, I don't know, six or seven or eight different versions of this lens. But the very best one is the MC Helios 44M-7. Again, MC Helios 44M-7. That's the best version. Uh, it has the very best coatings. But any of the versions are, are worth getting and in very, very good um, M42 mount lenses that I'm sure you'd be happy with. Now, in addition to these two favorite lenses of mine, I've got 19 others that you see on the table. We don't have time today to get into all of them, but I would like to say that if you can get a Meyer Optic Gerlitz uh, M42 mount lens, you'll probably like it, especially if you're a fan of what they call soap bubble bouquet. Carl Zeiss Jena, Carl Zeiss Jena lenses were made in um, Germany, and uh, uh, they are also another really good M42 uh, mount screw lens. Uh, Vivitar lenses, uh, Fujinon lenses, Voigtlander lenses, and of course, Pentex lenses. All of those lenses I've just mentioned uh, are, are generally pretty good M42 mount lenses. And if you want to see which specific uh, Meyer Optic Gerlitz, um, Carl Zeiss Jena, Vivitar, Fujinon, Voigtlander, Pentax lenses. If you want to find out which specific ones are in fact my favorite, uh, uh, go back and, and check out my, my handout, Dave Weber's favorite M42 mount lens list. They're all listed on here. So thank you for your attention and uh, let's uh, uh, now take a look at a short homework assignment that I've uh, developed for M42 mount lenses.